From an automation perspective, we use a lot of different industry tools. We use our MSPs tools that are built into it to manage um, escalation, alerts, obviously uh, ba our backup technology does um, automated spin-ups of the server every week, sends reports, all that's done automated. Um, we don't have guys that are doing that. If something fails in that or it generates a ticket from something failing, we manually step in, but a lot of that process has been automated. A lot of the day-to-day -day system monitoring, system uh, update system patching, all that stuff's pretty well automated these days. We really only have to step in when things aren't happening correctly. Currently we, we automate about two to three FTEs worth of work every month. And so the, our measure, our mark of that is what sort of repeatable standards can we keep doing over and over where automation will come into play so it's done the same way every time that somebody can just click a button or look at something and say, yep, I need to run this script and deploy it. and then how much work content is that going to take out on a month-to-month -month basis. And so our, our measures of trying to do that have been, uh, well, in a couple of ways, we have kind of a sub-community within our organization where we do contests so we understand what the best automation would look like. And so we let people compete with certain scripts and evaluating which scripts are going to take away the more, most work content, which ones are going to make this a repeatable process and kind of remove those potential mistakes that might occur. And that's created this group of people now who are really interested in writing those scripts. And so we use that and we use those scripts on a quarter to quarter basis on seeing, you know, on the remote support team or on the project team, what sort of things can be removed from overall work content. So quick examples of that are just kind of easy ones or desktop setups. Like, can we just plug a desktop in, deploy a script, it pulls the image down, it does all the base setups, so now only the customizations exist and we're, it's ready to deliver, deliver. So that's one. Office 365 migrations are another one. Can we get this to the point where we can punch in a first name, last name set in a CSV file, import it, and it knows, okay, I'm setting up all these users based on certain parameters. So we've been able to do that. And larger ones are around the server setups. Like what sort of network deployments can we do by just hooking up a host server and build an entire virtual environment by using get commands that are pulling down images and then automatically setting up those those servers. So those are things that we've learned through these contests that we've run that people have already been working on and it uncovers, oh, hey, we should just be using this for everybody. Why are you just using it? And so this sub-community that's come together is really improving and, and they're kind of egging each other on to do better. So we just keep that going, we keep building off of that, and we get to a point where you know, we have more automation than we've ever had before. We sure do. We do a lot of automation at PAR3. In fact, a couple of us really have uh, a lot of background in programming, so we can build these little widgets to, to help us. Uh, one of the things I have to plug with, with the managed services is the ability to script uh, these widgets and run them on workstations and devices uh, servers that can collect all sorts of information and automate so many processes for us. And this is really important to us uh, because we do have that skill set. We can automate these things. We need the platform to be able to, to do the automation on. And, and the SolarWinds platform has, has given us that opportunity. Again, I think that's just part of the whole managed services process. Uh, just to automate all that service, uh, uh, the service time required to, to support our clients. Uh, and that certainly is a big part of it, to automate all that, to get it all under one dashboard. You know, it's great that we have the integration with uh, the antivirus and the patching system and the backups and what have you. So getting all under one dashboard and being able to manage it and automate a lot of those processes, those widgets in between systems, uh, that's all really critical to us. When we look at some of the tools we've invested, whether it's for network management or it's security, uh, we look at a general theme that says use these tools to take work content out through automation. Right? Let's make it repeatable, right? Let's raise the speed of delivery, let's raise the quality. Uh, almost think like a developer, right? Let's test it. Let's have a, a library of these scripts and these, this code so we can be more responsive. But it's not from an efficiency standpoint. It's not so we can take the cost out. We just walk, want the work content out. That way we can, we can take our people's time and provide a better experience for our, our customers, right? The face-to-face, the -face, less of on the keyboard and more face-to-face. -face. Let's help them leverage the technology. So, for instance, we We've taken at least two full-time equivalents out in the first quarter of this year. We've been able to actually build that time out, but we didn't have to have the human capacity, the people capacity to deliver that experience to our customers. They could then move on to something of higher value to our customers. 